Hi everybody. Good evening on this marvelous Monday. How is everybody doing? How is everybody doing today on this marvelous Monday? I know, I know, it's not the weekend anymore and everybody's like, boo-hoo, it's Monday. Well, I loved it. I got to work on some work stuff today that I've been planning on, making some goals, getting my planner together, just working on stuff. So, how is everybody? Is there anybody on? If you're on, say hi down below so I can see your comments. Anyways, so... What have you guys been up to? I, like I said, been setting some goals. I started a um, planner today. Uh, usually I'll start a planner and then it kind of falls off after a couple weeks and whatnot. But I really need to plan things better because I have this business of doing, you know, the body shop at home, which I absolutely love. I just love it. It's so exciting. I was hoping I would get a package in the mail today because there's some new stuff that, um, new makeup. Well, new makeup to me, not new makeup to the company um, that I wanted to show you guys, but I, I got to wait for it to come in. And then, um, so I was waiting on that. Then I got in touch with a friend, you know, with um, some of the people that had ordered for the mystery bag orders. I got in touch with them so I could, you know, touch base with them before sending their stuff out. Then I, like I said, I got my planner together and I got to start um, writing everything down that I have jotted down and notes into it and make it all pretty and put some inspirational quotes in it. You know, just the, just those things. And then my husband put up new shelves yesterday in my bathroom. He built some really cool shelves. I posted a picture of that. And that way I can organize all of my stuff right there by my sink. So it's like all up off the counter and onto the walls, you know, where there's more space. So maybe, you know, in the near future, I can move some of this into the bathroom where I can actually use the sink instead of a bowl to, you know, rinse my, you know, with water in it to rinse my face and stuff. But I do like sitting in this little cozy spot because it's in the back of the house and, you know, everybody's watching TV and doing their thing out in the rest of the main house and I get to be hit away into this little spot. So it's kind of become my new favorite spot. So how is everybody? Anybody out there? No? Okay, well, I'll just keep on going. Act like there's someone there. So I'm going to do, I've already washed my face. I've already um, did a the aloe wash, uh, face wash for my face. It's for sensitive skin. It's great and hydrating. It's got aloe in it from uh, Mexico. And it's hand filleted aloe. So that's really, really cool. And I love, 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 love that we have products like that. So this product that I'm going to be using next is the Himalayan Charcoal um, Purifying Glow Mask. What this does, it, it draws all the impurities and stuff out of your, you know, like blackheads and whatnot out of your skin. It's got eucalyptus in it. It's got um, bamboo charcoal in it. And bamboo is the fastest growing crop. So um, besides hemp. And, um, and it's sustainable. Hi, honey. Um, it's sustainable and it um, has, uh, they use the bamboo, they grow the bamboo in order to um, bridge the gap between um, using the crops and the animals. So basically what they do is they, they I can't even talk. They, um, shoot, they grow the bamboo in order to help sustain the wildlife of the red panda. it's That's their main source of food and habitat. So they actually grow the bamboo and it's sustainable, it's fair trade, and so they're protecting the red panda. So this has bits and pieces. If you look at it on the brush, I don't know, it's a little blurry, sorry. I'm trying to get it where it will focus. Will it focus? 
it's not going to focus. But anyways, you're going to see that it has, when I go to put it on, it's going to have um, bits and pieces of the charcoal in the mask. Look at that. Bits and pieces. So we're going to put this on with our mask brush. Look at, see all those little bits and pieces of the charcoal in there? That charcoal is, this whole thing is just refreshing. It smells so good. It's tingly, like tingly, like cool tingly, not like, oh my gosh, that stings tingly. So it's really, really nice. It's a really, really nice mask. I like using it. And it's good for those impurities, the blackheads, um, dirt and debris, all on your face. It's, it's very purifying. And all this um, bamboo and charcoal is really good for the skin. So we're going to put that on. Sorry, I'm kind of paying attention so I don't get it in my eyes because, you know, it's got eucalyptus and stuff in it. You don't want to get that in your eye, but it smells wonderful. It smells so good. It's very refreshing. It's not a strong eucalyptus smell. Like, it's just, it's so wonderful. I love their masks. Every single one that I've used so far has been really nice. So... Let's see here. And you see all those bits and pieces? I mean, seriously. Now, once I get this all on, it's gonna dry. So it's this one is a drying mask, so it will dry. And you'll see it dry and it's gonna pull the oils, like all the excess oils and dirt and gunk. It helps pull all that stuff out of your pores. So I'm gonna go over underneath my nose I'm not gonna get it on my lips this looks so funny on but it's really it's really a good mask if you're wanting something that really helps deep clean your um your face your skin so with these masks you can do you don't have to do one single mask on your face you, if you have a problem area in your T-zone and you um, need deep cleaning and getting all that excess oil out. Hi, Megan. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Um, so if you have a T-zone that's really oily and you have, it's a problematic area. So if you don't know what a T-zone is, it's the... It's down the bridge of your nose, your nose area, and your forehead. That's your, your T-zone. And so if you have a problematic area there, you can just put this mask on that area. Yes, it is Monday for sure. <laughs> How are the kids doing? I know you're homeschooling all of those boys and whatnot, and the horses and everything. So as you guys can see, I've already put it on, it's already starting to dry. You can see the dry, it's drying. So um, that's good to hear. Um, so what's happening is that it's just, it's pulling, it's, it's pulling all that stuff. It's like, it, as it's drying, you can feel it tightening just a little bit. So what it's doing is it's doing almost like a suction effect on those pores and it's pulling all the dirt and debris out. So like I was saying, you could do a mask, this Himalayan charcoal mask, on just your T-zone. And then let's say that you're having more like red flare up on your cheeks because, you know, um, you have a little bit of rosacea, rosacea and whatnot. Um, or you just get some redness from just from being you have some more sensitive skin on your cheeks and whatnot you could put the a cooling one which could be your your um oh my goodness where is it at it's the uh hemp one you could put the hemp overnight mask because you can use the overnight mask as a 
instant mask or you can use it as an overnight mask. So you can put that on your cheeks. You could also do the plumping mask, which will give you the rose pump, blah, 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 the rose plumping mask, the British rose one. That is nice and cooling and refreshing too. And it helps rejuvenate the skin and give you moisture. So with that, you can do different masks. There's the Japanese green tea. I mean, uh, matcha tea. No, matcha. Yeah, matcha tea mask. Sorry, I'm getting my words mixed up tonight. Um, you can put that on. You can put um, drops of youth on. You can put all kinds of stuff on in, in different areas that work for those areas. You can even do the eye mask on and you know, the, the possibilities are endless with these different masks. So I like this. This is usually leave it on um, 10 to 15 minutes, I believe. Yes. And so, um, I mean, five to 10 minutes. I'm sorry, I'm getting mixed up with the sheet masks. The sheet masks are 10 to 15 minutes. And um, so, but yeah, they're, it's really great products. This is already dry right here at my chin. So there's not a whole lot of um, oil there at my chin. Wherever it's dry, it's still working on getting the oils and stuff. Um, I mean, where it's wet, it's still working on those oils and stuff. So my face is feeling a little bit tighter. So that's good too, because it's gonna, it's, it's helping with firming up your your skin too so that that's really nice it's a really nice effect on the skin so what's everybody doing this evening what you guys up to i'm doing face mask and then i'm going to be working some more <laughs> so but the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to, once this comes off, oh yeah, you uh, you told me you're only on Facebook during that time. So, um, but the next thing we're gonna do is then I'm gonna rinse this off when it's time. And then I'm going to be using the Roots of Strength, which is the red bottle, which is a firming and shaping serum. And then I'm also going to be using the Drops of Youth Environmental Protection um, Concentrate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put these two together in my hands and put them on my face at the same time and skip a step of doing them each individually. Um, these are really, really, really good. Um, you get the Roots of Strength, which is firming. So you're going to put that on and you're going to always, when you put stuff on your face, you want to go in an upward direction because in away from gravity, because gravity works on our bodies, our skin, everything really hard. And we don't want to be sagging or, you know, are getting more wrinkles and more aged look because of gravity. We, we don't want to help gravity out. So, um, and then after that, wait, I skipped a step because my bottles are out of order. I'm going to be putting toner on first. Then I'm going to be doing the serums and then I'm going to be putting on moisturizer. So you want to really, and then I'll be moisturizing my lips with the coconut lip butter. So that's what we're going to be doing this evening. As you can see, see how much it's already drying and it's working. It's working. I can't wait to see how my face looks after this. I love how this feels. It's very cooling. It's got a really cooling effect on the face. Like today I was frustrated with um, computer stuff today. So I was dealing with that. And so when I get frustrated with the computer, my face gets red because I guess my blood pressure goes up. So <laughs> the, the computer system gives you a hard time. It's like, Ugh. and I know Megan, you know how that feels because you deal with computer stuff with your work, with the stuff you do. And, um, but yeah, so I just, I decided this evening I would come in, say hi to everybody, do my evening routine that I was gonna do a little bit later. 
and um, but do it now so I can work on some other stuff and I'm hoping to catch up with one of my friends on a video call tonight and talk with her. I haven't talked to her in a few days so I'm hoping to get to talk to her. That would be nice. So look how love. I mean, it looks gross on your face. It really does with all these different bits and pieces that's in there, but that's all that charcoal from the bamboo. And so it's it's a really, honestly, my face is, even though I'm talking because I don't have it really close to my lips, it's not, like, if I was to really talk, you know, more expressive, it would crack all this because this is all dry. All this is dry. You too. Love you guys. Um, so, but I, yeah, I'm just here hanging out with you guys tonight. And just for a little while, I'm going to take this mask off in just a couple minutes and finish up my routine. But there's some really new stuff going on. I did post it on my page earlier, so go to my Facebook page. Um, I also have a new group. It's called um, You Simply Blossom. And if you want to become part of that, go over there and request to be part of my private group. And that group is um, for my customers, for VIP stuff, for people who wanna join my team, for people who wanna know more about the body shop, you know, all that kind of stuff and special events and stuff like that and special things are gonna happen over there. So if you wanna join that, it's, um, you look it up on Facebook and under groups and it's called U, the, the letter U, simply, S-I-M-P-L-Y, Blossom, B-L-O-S-S-O-M. I'm also on Instagram under that too. So if you guys want to join those or follow me and stuff like that for the, you know, for those type of contents, because I'm going to have special stuff that's going to happen in the groups and on my Instagram um, in the near future, I'm going to be doing that. Um, so you don't want to miss out. Now, there will be times where things will cross over from the group to my main page. So if you don't want to follow a group right now, or be on Instagram, you can just keep an eye out for those things. If you're interested in special thing, you know, special events and whatnot that I'm gonna be holding, then send me a private message and I can put you on the list to notify you when that happens. Um, the, the other thing I wanted to let you guys know is that I did post on my page earlier today, there is a new product book out for 2021 for the body shop it's absolutely amazing it's out in digital format right now so the link is there for you to go look at and it's just absolutely beautiful it's got some great content and inspirational stuff plus the products it's just really beautiful um if you want to order anything the link is above if you're interested in holding a party, comment below or, or private message me. We can do a virtual party online and, you know, we can have loads and loads of fun. We could have, you know, all kinds of fun. I mean, just literally all kinds of fun. I got some good stuff up my sleeve that I'm waiting to, to do. I'm just getting everything kind of in order. So let me know. Look at this mask. I mean, we've had it on a good 10, almost 10 minutes now, I think. Um, it's close. I didn't set my timer. It feels like it is. So I'm going to take a little bit of this warm water that I have here in this bowl. And I'm going to wet this mask. And then I'm going to use my handy dandy um facial flannel this is how it looks after it dries so it's kind of hard when it dries but when you put it in the water it softens back up the reason it's it gets hard as a rock like that is because that makes it antibacterial and antimicrobial so what it does is it dries like that it's not like your regular old washcloth or wash rag 
or it, what it does when you have one of those and you leave it out, you know, if you live here in Florida, especially or in the South, you put a wash rag out for a little while and you go to pick it up, it smells like mildew, like gross, like keep it away from me. I can't stand it. I can't stand that smell at all. Um, but what's on that is bacteria and you don't want to put that bacteria on your face. So I recommend these soft facial flannels. They're more hygienic. You can throw these in the wash machine. Just let them air dry when you're done. Um, but yeah, they are, I'm going to get a little bit of this water and start wetting this a little bit and get this. Hopefully I won't make too big of a mess because this is a messy mask. I should have done it in the bathroom, but we are here now. So did anybody else do anything cool over the weekend or have any plans for this week coming up this evening? I'm just wetting this so it would be easier for me to take off with the with the um, facial flannel because it's dry right now with this. So I'm not rubbing hard at all. I'm doing light circles. It looks like I'm rubbing hard, but I'm not. I'm just wetting this mask so it'll be easier to take off without getting it all over the place. Hopefully, so, see? So now, and you can see the, I'm gonna rinse this rag out, I mean facial flannel out. I said rag, I started using the word rag. See, look, that's all that bamboo. No. Rinse and rinse and rinse and rinse and. I need to remember next time to bring a, a second bowl of water with this mask, because this mask is exceptionally messy. So as they say, it's gonna get messy in here. So we're gonna get that off. So what kind of masks do you guys use? Do you have any favorite body shop products that you already know of or have used? Hmm? Goodness, I got a hot mess express going on. <laughs> oh my goodness. And go under my eye, get the, all of that down there. Holy cannoli. I also made a post earlier Quite a few posts today. I saw some um, very inspirational posts about being strong and being, you know, being a strong woman and, you know, not, not meaning strong as in muscular strong, but strong in yourself, strong in, um, you know, confidence strong in teaching your daughters to be, you know, to, to also be that. But I also think that it, I believe that we also need to have a talk with, with our boys too, because in society we have that stereotypical boys are supposed to be brute strong and not heart strong. And I really think that boys need to be both like if that's what they choose to be like they don't need to be just the the guy with the muscles 
or the guy with the attitude or the guy that can beat up everybody, you know, or the big mouth or whatnot. I think that, and the same goes for some of these girls that are out there that have big mouths. I have, I'm one of those. And uh, well, I used to be one of those. I'm, and then part of that came from me just being angry all the time. So, but I, I, that's my opinions. You can take them with a grain of salt. You don't have to take them. You don't have to believe them. You don't have to do anything with it. All right. Look at that. Look how nice that looks. And my all the blackheads that I had started to get are gone out of my nose. All right. So we're going to leave that to the side because that's a hot mess right now. And I'm going to do some toning. Now what toner does is, sorry about the towel in the way. Sorry, what toner does is it not only helps moisturize, this is my favorite toner right now. It is the Petal Soft Gel Toner. It actually has pieces of, of um, rose petals in it. And so I like this because, and I'm gonna actually, I squeezed out a little bit more than I normally do, but I'm gonna put it on two cotton rounds this time. So I'm just, patting the two together because we just did a mask I want to make sure I do go over my face really well so I love this toner one it smells just lovely like everything else that I've used and two it brings your skin back to its pH balance it helps remove any excess dirt and debris that you didn't get with your wash and you did not get off when rinsing your mask which is what's happened tonight for me because i'm doing it here and at the at a uh, bowl instead of at the sink and doing a more proper wash but that's what we're working with so if you look i don't know if you guys see that see there was still some dirt and debris not much not as much as i thought there would be with that mask but it's it's done all right, now, let's see, what are we doing next? Next, we're going to add our serums. And the reason you do serums is there's different effects that your serums do. Like for instance, we talked a little bit about this in the beginning, your roots of strength help firm the skin. It's, your, it's anti-aging, along with the drops of youth is your environmental protection. Now, drops of youth this particular product right here is our number one selling product and i know why now i was like nah it can't it can't be that good it can't be it just can't be well i've seen the results on other people and then i started using it and this drops of youth is just amazing okay so i don't know if you guys go back in my videos back in the beginning you would see these little frowny lines or as a friend of mine would say my what the lines so these were really deep right here they were really deep and these these lines right here that you see used to be almost like speed bumps you'd go over and i'd be like doo -doo 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 -doo, you know like you're going over a freaking speed bump they're not anymore they not. This is working wonders. I am amazed by it. So, and I don't use it every day. I've been using it like every other day, you know, um, and I don't use it every treatment either. I don't use it in the morning and I don't use it at all the time at night. I, I may use one in the morning and one at night or whatnot, but tonight I'm going to do both of these. And originally, I was going to do both of them. I, I guess I will do both of them at the same time. So we're going to do the Roots of Strength. And I forgot to unscrew my bottle. And we're going to do the Drops of Youth. One, two, three Drops of Youth. And then what I'm going to do, sorry, I'm, I'm uh, putting the top back on that with one hand. So I'm, see, I got both of those in there like that. 
I'm gonna rub them around in my hands, warm them up just a little bit so they're easier to put on my face. And then I'm gonna go up, out to the ears, because your ears are skin too. Don't forget those. And then I wanna get this off my um, palms of my hands. We're gonna go up with those, right? And I'm doing really gentle wipes. I know it looks like I'm not, but I am. And if you have some on your palms and you wanna get on your fingertips, the best thing to do is, is move your hands a different, um, opposite of each other and then wipe across and it'll move it to your fingertips for you. All right, see, that's already sunk in. Very, very quick, okay? And then, and then I got something on my fingers from this, the bamboo. It was, it got on my towel over here, so I had it on my hands. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the vitamin E moisturizer. Now, this vitamin E moisturizer, I love it. It is so silky, and vitamin E is so good for your skin. It is absolutely, like years ago, when I first started using vitamin E, you had to literally go buy the vitamin E caplets in the store because you couldn't get it in products besides caplets, and you'd break the caplets open and use the, that oil that was inside the vitamin E caplets on your face and on your skin. That's what you did. So I'm putting all that moisturizer in out to my hairline, onto my neck, and around. And I know my face looks a little red right now. It's a little warm in this room, but it's also because I just did that major treatment on my face with that charcoal mask. So it dove in deep and plus where I wear my glasses, I get breakouts where I wear my glasses. So it gets really um, bad there. So I use tea tree on those breakouts to dry them up and not let them uh, get worse. So what we use tonight on my face is I wash my face with the aloe wash and then I put on the Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask. Then I rinsed it, and then we put on the British Rose Gel Toner, Petal Soft Gel Toner. Then I put on the Roots of Strength Serum, Firming Serum, and then the Drops of Youth Environmental Protection Serum. And those are both anti-aging. And then I put on the vitamin E moisturizer. So key to healthy skin is keeping it clean and keeping it moisturized. So that means moisturize on your skin and then moisturize by drinking plenty of water. So the other treatment I'm gonna do is the coconut lip butter. Now with this, these are, this is made from shea butter and hand, let me see if I can get it, hand cracked coconut. So these are not cracked by machines. So when you look at it and you go to use it, it has some clumpy bits in it. And that is the real coconut that's in there. So I'm going to use a lip, um, a lip brush to put mine on because I want to put a, a lot more on than I normally do because I'm doing a treatment. So you see that? And as it warms up on the skin, it melts more. And then you put it on your lips there. And like right there, I, oh my gosh, I just got a taste of it. It actually doesn't taste bad. It tastes like coconut, which is what it should. And it's, it's very nice. But and you know, sometimes when you get these lip gloss and you get them in your mouth and you taste them, you're like, you know, but it, nope, not this. This tastes yummy. So you don't want to eat it though. But it's shea butter and coconut. And the shea butter comes 
from a tribe, the Tangtea tribe, Tangtea, sorry, Tangtea tribe. Um, it's of 500 women, it's community fair trade. And then we also have the coconuts, which at the moment my brain stopped and I can't remember where those are from, but they're also community fair trade. So most of our products are have community fair trade items in, you know, uh, ingredients in them. It's really, really awesome. So now that I have a nice fresh face and my cat ear mask hair holder, Oops, hold on, my gotta get my ear out a little bit more. It's not wanting to sit right. Okay, there we go. So, look, see how fresh my skin looks? Seriously, this is where, oh, I still have some charcoal that I missed. It's stuck to my skin. See, I had told you it was on this towel. Told you, told you. Okay, did I get it now? Yeah, I got it now. All right. So you can see where it worked on my skin. Do I still have some right there too? Holy, is that it? Oh, yep. See, it's got real bamboo in it. It's so funny and like sticks to you. See? Well, I missed a little bit, but you know what? It's all right. It's all right. We're good. All right, so how is everybody out there? in the wonder webs that's out there and across the, you know, those information highways. Anyways, I know that everybody's busy. You're probably having dinner with the fam. If you catch this on a replay, do me a favor and put a comment down below, hashtag replay for me, um, or just replay, I don't care, or just, you know, comment down below so I know that you saw it. You know, um, if there's anything that you guys would like to see, like product wise, um, let me know that down in the comments below too. I can let you know about that. If you have questions about your skin, if you're having issues with your skin, what I would advise you, you know, doing for your skin. Um, if you just want to talk about anything in general, just, you know, I'm here. I'm here to listen. I'm here to talk. And um, pretty soon I'll start, I'll have a schedule up and running where you guys will know when I'm on live. Um, you know, every day I'm going to have a set day, a set time of day that I will be doing my lives. And that way you guys can come in and see, you won't go, oh man, I missed it. Or, you know, is Angie on going to be on today? You know, that kind of thing. So I'm going to start trying to uh, work on my schedule for that because I'm kind of all over the place. But I am been just kind of doing it at my whim, and it's my self-care. So I'm doing that, and I'm sharing it with you guys. So I hope everybody has a really great Monday evening. Relax. Enjoy your families. Enjoy your pets. Enjoy your, you know, your fur babies. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.